And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Squirrel Push. Squirrel Push is a game in which squirrels collect nuts, because in games, that's all squirrels ever do. So in this one, you're going to collect the most nuts, cue the jokes, let's take a look at the game. going to make a grid here in the middle of the table. This grid will be larger if more players are playing. This would be for four or less players. And you're going to uh, have these different tiles. Now each tile will show a certain number of nuts on that tile and then a small number and that just basically tells you how many nuts are on the other sides. See there's a two and a five, here's a three and a four, a two and a, a one going back and forth. So you're going to put these together and then there's two ways to play the game. So in the basic game one player is going to, uh, on your turn, the player is going to take their squirrel. They can start anywhere on the edge, and they will go onto a tile, and then they must go down to a smaller tile and by, and until they cannot go anymore. So I could start here and go 5, 4, 2, 1. When I do that, I'm going to get 9, 10, 11, 12. I will then flip over every tile that I moved on, and it's the next person's turn. Now you will take these uh, points in acorns here, and if they get too big, you have a 30-point tile and a 60-point tile. So maybe the next person is going to go, hmm, so they, they'll go 5, 3, 1 here. And you're going to see that as time goes by, the whole board is going to be changed. Now, once you move on a future turn, you can go to any tile that is adjacent to where you are. So let's say I'm on the 4. I could start here on the 5. The first tile you go to doesn't matter, but after that you have to go down. So I can go 5, 4, 2 if I wanted to. Now, starting with the second turn, each person is going to draw the top card of a deck. And this is going to a card that you don't have to use, but you, might, you may use if you want to, to give you some special thing that you can do on your turn. And there are several different cards that are included with the game. So this one here, for example, lets you jump over one space while moving. This one here which shows all of them, is going to let you exchange one of the three face-up tiles with a tile on the board before moving. This one here lets you add a nut token to a tile, making that tile higher. This one lets you flip one of the tiles over to the other side. This one lets you make one of your moves as you move can be diagonal. This one you go up instead of down. So instead of going five, four, three, whatever, you're going one, two, three, four, whatever. And this one here, you can jump off the board and come back on the board outside. So you'll have this random card from the pile that you can use during your turn. The turns are going to be taking place over six turns. You have these cards to help keep track. After six turns, whoever has the most nuts is the winner. Now, if you want to play the Smarty Squirrels variant, then each person is going to get their own set of cards. There's a different color. And you can just pick which card you want to play each turn. It takes out the randomness. You just decide this is the turn I want to do the jumping one. This is the one where I want to add a nut on the board, etc., etc. That's how you play. Most nuts is the winner. Now, incidentally, the first time I played this game, I played the random method. Where you turn the card over and do whatever it says. The other method is vastly superior. By vastly superior, I mean way superior. But even in the random version of the game, I didn't dislike it. I thought, well, okay, it's super random. But I still found it entertaining. Usually, it was in the random version, you just found yourself the best move, right? Ah, okay, I can move here, here, here. And after a couple plays, that would get old really fast. Once you decide which of the cards you can play from your hand, suddenly it's very different. It can get a little analysis paralysis type thing where you're sitting there going, ooh, Okay, if I move here and move diagonal, I can get this. But really, the most you can get on a turn is 15, right? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Unless, of course, you can put a nut out and maybe you can get more. You can get 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 if you're really lucky. So you're going to get some kind of differential there. You probably won't be able to get 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 every turn. It's simply not possible, so you want to get as close to that as you can. And being able, knowing the right time to flip a tile over, add a nut, or this is the time to move diagonal, it's a simple filler style game for, for 
20 minutes that works really well. I have to say, I mean, I was pretty surprised by this when I came in, we went over the rules and I said, all right, and we play and I was like, that isn't so bad. But what if we all were able to use our own strategy cards? And then suddenly the game was good. And so, you know, it's not, it's still going to, there's still going to be some luck, right? Because you might have the no card that will help you get enough points and you might lose by a couple points to the person who is winning. But I'm telling you, knowing when to play the right cards at a specific time is going to help you out in this game. So pretty neat. The tiles flipping over is a nice mechanism, easy to do. You're moving around. The components are nice enough. You have the little squirrel tokens with the stickers on them. Uh, a great one to open up your gaming night. Certainly one I hadn't heard of, but I enjoyed. Squirrel Push. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut, Shut the, the door! door. <laughs>